Golf Channel's exclusive coverage of the PGA Tour is presented by ServiceNow, the smarter way to workflow. Golf Channel and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Hello and welcome viewers to the RACV Cape Shank Golf Club. Today, starting us off on the tee, we have Brett Breezy Monagle. With a handicap of 32, he will be out to impress the crowds with his famously aggressive boomstick drives. Following Brett, we have Justin the Judge Monagle with a respectable 25 handicap. His success today will be reliant on his strong play into the greens. Pundits expect this to be no issue for the man rocking the fresh set of Mizuno irons. Third off the tee today, we have Dan Ivy Pullen. With recent form seeing his handicap come down to a solid 18, he will be looking to improve yet again with his unique rolling approach shot. Handling the famous ping iron set, rumour has it, he is relieved to no longer hold the priciest clubs on tour. Completing today's foursome, we have Ben the King Grey. Also with a handicap of 18, I'm sure we'll see him again rely on the surprisingly versatile spoon. With the set to match the name, he'll be swinging the King Cobras all day long. And after teeing off on the first hole, we tune in now as Breezy takes his first approach on the fairway of the first hole. And my god, straight in and out of the bunker on the left. He'll have a tough shot next. Let's listen in to see how he's coping with the early pressure. <laughs> <laughs> While Brett struggles, let's take a quick look at Justin's opening hole. After finding early trouble in the bunker, he escapes with a nice bogey. Take a look at the scorecard after the first. Dan and Justin in the lead with nice bogeys. Ben, a bit of a slow start for him on a six. And Brett, really struggling on the first, pulling down a nine. Listen back in now as Ben G takes a stop on the second. That was nice. Good contact. I reckon it goes short. Oh, get back, you fucker. All right. Short. That's not a lot of spots to be fair. I almost missed that. Oh, oh yes, cold. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, cold. Watch it. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, as we get to Brett's tee here, it's uh, pretty clear that the group's in no danger of threatening the centre of the fairway today. Four tees, not a single one down the guts. Uh, it really is great stuff. It's what the fans have paid to see. And uh, we tune back into Brett here on his seventh shot. And, well, I mean, his reaction says it all, so let's just have a listen. And Yeah, look, I, I wish I could argue with him on that one, but... I mean, the scorecard does not lie with Brett picking up another quintuple bogey. It's really an interesting start to the day for the man. And while the rest of the lads card some, some reasonable scores, no one's resting easy as the boys are, you know, starting to sweat a bit on, on if their ride home will even make it to the end of the day alive. And, uh, up to the 13 now. And uh, look, the boys run into the, the classic amateur golfers test of, of being offered to play through the group in front and look the extra eyes clearly got to the fellas and and we just dished up some pure garbage off the tee and well you know we all we all paid for it cutting uh fives all around a really average hole from from a bunch of average lads anyway uh still no footage for the fourth uh group's just trying to put a bit of distance between us and the uh the group that uh let us through so yeah, just a, a nice look at my hole here, cutting a four and uh, all the fellas following suit. Anyway, on, on to the fifth now and uh, it's it's good to see Brett's, you know, steadying the ship. It's a bit of a heartwarming one this and, you know, clearly someone's sat down and, and running through how it actually works and, you know, I think there was just a bit of a mix up here, you know. Uh, he thought you were meant to land high scores on the course and, and low ones at the SB and, you know, it just got in the wrong way around, you know, it's it's easy to do but, you know, we live and we learn, and uh, learn is certainly what he did on this hole, getting a nice bogey to uh, get his uh, game right back on track. And uh, look, nothing remarkable on the 6th, so skipping ahead to the 7th, and uh, camera's back out for a good one here, the 143-metre uh, par 3 over the lake. Oh. Oh. 
Fuck off. Ball. That's gone. Yeah, you didn't hit another one, mate. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. Get in! Get in! Please get in! Please be the ball! Oh, so short! Fuck. How the fuck did you hit it that far? Seven? Get in the yes. hole! Get right. in the hole! It's safe. Not coming back in a half short. That's good though. That's a good spot. Nice. Oh, nice slow-mo shot of the man sitting uh, equal first with a seven over through six. And uh, true to form, he uh, sticks this one on the green and converts the bogey. Uh, Brett did the same. And uh, Justin, you know, he's starting to make his move on the field here, uh, converting a nice par and sneaking up to uh, tie the lead at the end of this one. Anyway, while the uh, rest of the group were uh, busy lining up their putts, uh, Ben was Definitely taking the scenic route on this one, you know, after hitting that iron way right off the tee. Uh, I really do feel sorry for those river reeds on the hole. Definitely not accustomed to the uh, level of abuse that they received from the man as he uh, got right up in them for his fifth shot uh, on the way to recording it, an eight for the hole. And definitely at this point, you got to say the uh, king has dropped his crown as he uh, slides well back in the field to uh, trail by four. On to the eighth now, and uh, first up we have Benny. Keen to turn things around, and boy does he do just that, smoking this one down the center of the fairway, and the man's clearly back up and about, celebrating just like he's been at the SB and, and told he's got a big pecker. And, uh, right after that, we have a true Easter miracle with myself skipping the ball three times across the lake. Yes! Ah, yes! Oh, no! Fuck! Yes, it's, it's killed me! <laughs> yes. With the uh, player cam on Brett, we'll uh, follow him down the eighth. Oh, fuck! Good shot. Unbelievable. Broke one driver. Probably shot of the day from Brett. Yeah. Oh, my God. You saw boom, boom again, Pulley. Yeah. Fucking huge. Uh, oh, that's bunker. Watch it, watch it. Bunker. Did you get me a cold one? Yeah, but no, I put it back. Oh, no, I did you? You're on the green. Probably a three putt. So uh, looking at the scorecard and turns out I was bang on, you know, as always, nothing out of the ordinary there with uh, Breck in the three putt. And uh, yeah, six is all round except for Benny who uh, got the birdie. And uh, yeah, on the back of the uh, drive, you know, he was very happy with himself. So no surprises there really. Anyway, uh, last hole of the front nine here, and uh, I get us off to a good start, sending mine right down centre fairway. Meanwhile, uh, Benny, keen to capitalise on his Hello. new form, steps up to whack before we can even really get a good shot of him on the camera. Jeez, he just really does go whack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, completely agree with you there, Dan. But uh, anyway, as we now take a look at Brett, who's taking a real aggressive line, uh, clearly confidence is high after the drive off the last tee but you know lightning does not strike twice in this group and uh you know he ends up blasting it to the 10th fairway and uh anyway last up we have our uh, pulley who uh leaves his short right but uh somehow just avoids that fairway bunker so yeah not too bad so uh enjoy the arrows on this one lads because i crush this hole absolutely make it my bitch uh you know nice long putt in for birdie as well great hole from me score a three Taking a look at the scorecard here, and the group really did perform well on this hole, uh, averaging a par, so solid play all round. Taking a look at the scorecard for the front nine here, and some interesting results with uh, Justin leading the charge at 8 over. Might in controversy, of course, with the contentious, unplayable lie drop on the fifth hole, which conveniently was missed by the camera crew. But uh, at the end of the day, that's what the bookies have paid out on, so it is what it is. Anyway, closely behind him, we have uh, Dan, who was 9 over followed by Ben at 11 over, and at the tail end of the field is Brett, who, given the 10 over through two start he had, uh, has managed to recover incredibly well here, taking some decent form into the back nine. 